Howdy and welcome to the Mighty Mighty Chuck channel. Eyes of Chuck and I speak with a southern accent. <laughs> I speak with other accents as well. <laughs> None of them very well, though. Um, so the latest leftist propaganda that they're trying to use against Trump is they're trying to say that Trump doesn't like Sessions' Alabama accent. I don't know whether he said anything about Sessions' accent or not, obviously. I don't know. I don't really care. But the bottom line is they're trying to make this a news story. They're trying to make this a news story because a large part of Trump's support comes from the South, and if they can cut the South off from Trump, then they can make inroads. So it, it's part of their psychological warfare. Trump's latest criticism of Sessions, his Southern accent, Alabama education, a lot of his sorter, supporters, support, supporters, supporters are uh, blue collar, or that they didn't go to elite colleges. Uh, he, a lot of Southerners actually could go to Harvard or Yale, but a lot of times they choose to go to local colleges because it's pride. It's being proud of your heritage, and the colleges basically are better. To be perfectly honest, Harvard and Yale are shitholes. <laughs> Why in the world anybody pays that money to send their kids to those type of colleges? It's beyond me, man. So anyway, it's part of the psychological warfare is Trump's latest criticism of Sessions, his southern accent, Alabama education. Who gives a freak? Whether Trump said it or not, who cares? And you go back to 2016, go back to 2016, uh, that same leftist media, Washington Post, was um, where they were trying to make fun of Trump's Queen's accent. And actually, Trump's accent is actually, to some degree, influenced by Southern because he spent so much time in the South. Yeah, he's still got that Queen's accent, but... Um, it's it's a little mixed. It is his dialect is not totally Queens. It's it's a mixture, and part of that mixture actually is Southern. You had someone on uh, Fox that was trying to do the backdoor propaganda to try to push this notion. So you know, trying to make Southerners just like Trump. He doesn't like our accent. <laughs> it's psychological warfare, and uh, so anyway, this this guy on Fox it was from. He might have been from Brooklyn. I don't know where he's from in, in New York. I couldn't tell from his accent because it it, it had been homogenized. Um, he he was he was going so far as to say, well, he can he can understand Trump's trouble with the Southern accent because when he first went to Washington D.C., it the, the Southern accent bothered him. When people say y'all, he just automatically thinks they're ignorant. That wasn't Trump saying that. That was this guy saying that. But they were muddling, muddling. Doing a lot of muddling. The reason people don't like Southern accents is we all think they're stupid. <laughs> well, we don't exactly think you people from Brooklyn are rocket scientists either. But many of you may very well be. Uh, a lot of people working at NASA speak with Southern accents. Yes, they do. Um... It's just psychological warfare, trying to turn the South against Trump, because a large part of Trump's support comes from the South. And the left will do anything. But, you know, um, they were, they were, uh, the, when they were talking about Trump's accent in 2016, they were trying to say that his Queen's accent makes him sound more ignorant. And they, I think that, I didn't watch the video, because I, I, I didn't want to. But anyway, they, they mocked up this thing where he's doing a speech, but instead of him doing his own uh, Queen's accent with a mixture of Southern, um, they had him speaking with a British accent. And uh, they were saying, see how much smarter he sounds with a British accent? See how much smarter he sounds with a British accent? Now nah, I'm okay with people from Britain, the United Kingdom, Ireland. Scotland? I'm o I am that wasn't a very good Scottish accent. <laughs> so, uh, I'm okay with the people from those, you know, areas. Their accent does not make them sound smarter. And what's more, there's not a singular, just like there's not a singular southern accent, 
There's not a singular British accent. There's not a singular German accent. That's the reason it's so difficult when you're trying to learn a foreign language, is that there's so many dialects. There's there's so much slang. The, uh, in Germany, it's it's not one language. It's lots of languages. Uh, there's pockets in uh, in Great Britain where the people have certain dialects that it's actually hard for us Americans to understand them. Um, there again, the, the dialects have tended to become more homogenized, and so like if somebody has a strong, I, I, I'm not going to try to point out to what region they're from, but they've got a strong accent where it's, uh, say a Cockney accent, for example. Um, the education now, basically, if you have a strong dialect or a strong accent, um, the, the education system actually tries to cause you to lose that accent so that not only do you have the homogeny going on, you also have where the education is causing people to be more conscientious, conscious, aware, <laughs> something, other uh, accent. So they, they try not to have quite a strong accent or quite as strong as dialect. When they're in private with friends, uh, it's um, their accent may be somewhat different than, say, when they're at work and they're trying to be very careful to speak correctly and properly because they want that fucking promotion, man. They do. So anyway, the, the psychological warfare trying to get us Southerners to dislike Trump it's not going to happen. He's got a place down in Florida, you know. <laughs> he got this little small place down in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Most thanks for watching and listening. I do appreciate it.